I love my Marvelous Muses. So we're back tonight. And uh, tonight, we are trying a new product. Uh, if you remember the Light Wish colored UV resin, well, the same company reached out to me and asked me if they could send me some of their regular UV resin and some of their color pigment. Um, I saw Glitz and Glitter by Michelle do hers. I don't know if I've got the same one as her. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I couldn't really tell by the picture that they sent me, but I picked the darker colors. And it's called the Starry, Starry Color Series. And we have, here, we'll just take them out. Uh, we have Deep Gold. We have deep blue. We have dark green. We have deep purple. Good band, by the way. Oh. And we have dark red. And it's, I was reading on here, so you can use it in regular resin. Um... It's, um, uh, it looks like pretty good resin, so, I mean, pretty good pigment from what I can look at here. I mean, the colors look pretty, we'll see how they look when we put them in the, in the resin. And then they sent me their UV resin. Uh, it is a UV resin hard type, um, it tells here, depending on how you're curing it, how long it should take. A UVD LED, a UV LED lamp, 36 watts, should take 1 to 2 minutes curing time. Direct sunlight on a sunny day should take 10 to 15 minutes. And this is the same thing, but I'm guessing they got that wrong. Probably direct sunlight on a cloudy day, 30 to 60 minutes. Um... Yeah, so that is what we're going to do. We are going to try this new resin. And we're going to see how the colors look. Now, we're going to do a couple different things. Um, I just, because like I said, I want to kind of try it out here. I'm going to see what we got. But, uh, yeah. So, we're going to... And I got two bottles of resin, is what they sent me, and then the caps. So, we're going to move this out of the way. And I got a couple of packages uh, today. Actually, I got one yesterday and one today. Uh, April sent me a couple of Christmas presents. She sent me some UV resin. And uh, sent me a gift card. So, thank you, April. I appreciate it very much. We talked on the phone today for over two hours. <laughs> and we don't even realize it. We're just she's like, Do you realize we just talked for two hours? It's like, no. I didn't realize that, but hey. Sometimes you just don't realize how much you have to say. Oh.
Okay. And how do we have that? <clears throat> okay, so a couple things we're going to do. This is a coaster I had from the other night. Remember the coaster the, uh, from last night? The box. This is a coaster that I made. Uh, somebody had asked me about the Dragonfly Glaze. The Dragonfly Glaze, you can get it at Hobby Lobby, at Walmart. I got this bottle at Walmart. Uh, it's in the craft section, like where the craft paints are. Um, they have different colors of Dragonfly Glaze. This is blue, green, gold shift. Um, this one here is... Full spectrum shift. And where is this one? And this is full spectrum shift. So, color changing, color shifting stuff. You can see the colors here on the top of them. But yeah, they're, I'm sure you can get it on Amazon, but you're going to pay a little bit more for it probably. You can get it at uh, any craft store. Um, and like I said, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Walmart. And in Walmart, it's in the craft section. I think I paid like... I, I think it's got a price on it even. So here we go. Hobby Lobby, $4.19. And if you catch it when it's on sale, when folk art paints are on sale, you can get it for half price. I want to say I paid like two something for this bottle I got at Walmart. And I've had it, gosh, a year. And I use it quite a bit because, like I said, it doesn't sink. If you look here, it, the glitter didn't sink. It floats all the way throughout. So, um, I think we're going to actually UV resin something onto this. Uh, I was going to use it as a coaster, and I thought, you know what? I'm not going to use it as a coaster. It's too pretty. I think I would use it as, like, a sun catcher. Uh, so, I'm going to actually, like, screw it. I screw in the top of this and uh, hang it up. And I thought, well, what can I put on it? And I was like, well, I've got these, got these dills here. And I was like, do I want to put one of these on it? And then this one here. Uh, I don't know. What we got here? Kind of cool, huh? Hmm. I don't know. I kind of want to do Maleficent. Yeah, I kind of want to do her in a way. Hmm. I don't know. We're going to do them all anyway. All, all three of these. I don't know about this one. We're going to do all three of these. So let me get my tape out here. I hate finding the end of tape like this. I hate when I don't fold it over. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I think I'm going to pull off a piece about that big, but I'm going to fold over one end so it gives me something to hold the tape down with. There we go. Alright, let's stick this on here.
Okay. We're going to make sure we fold the tape over at the end. I do not have to hunt the end down next time. There we go. Make it easy on me. Okay. Push this all down nice and good. Okay, so we're going to zoom in just a little bit more here. And we're going to turn this over here to the side just a little bit because we are going to go through our colors here. And we're going to put some in some cups. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so we're going to do purple. Well, let's just try out all the colors. How about that? So we got five colors. We're just going to pull out five little cups. Oh my goodness. Cups are so hard to get apart sometimes. These little plastic ones like this. There we go. Okay, so we have dark red. Let's see here. Everybody got it. If I got to cut the tops or they're already open. Oh, it's already open. Oh, and it is the metallic ones, guys. My glitz and glitter had. Alright, so we're going to shake these up really, really good. Okay. And we're going to start out with this color since we already have it mixed up. Since I already have it shook up really good. Okay. Okay, so now. Got a little bit of resin in here. Three, we're gonna do three drops here. We're gonna stir this up. Oh, isn't that pretty? That's pretty, guys. I think I'm going to give it one more little squirt, though. There we go. We'll give it two more drops. And that is the... That's the dark red. That is very pretty. Huh. 
I'm like Michelle. I don't see if you guys watched her do hers. She was really impressed by the lack of bubbles in this resin. Me too. I have to say. Hmm. And I, you saw how fast I just stirred that. There's like no bubbles in there. All right. So we got the dark red. Put some resin in here. Now we're going to do the deep purple. Shaking it really good, guys. Probably shaking y'all too. Bring it up here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Try eight. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Wow, oh, that's pretty. Okay. So, this one here, we have deep gold. My camera focusing. There we go. Okay, shaking it up really, really good. Deep gold. Let's see what we got here. Let's do eight like we did on the other one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we got with eight deep gold. That's gorgeous, guys. Wow, that's pretty. Do you see the lack of bubbles in this resin? Huh. Alright. Now I'm curious how it's going to turn out. Alright, so we got the deep gold. And I will leave the link to this stuff in the description box. To the resin and to the pigment. They have another color. And I want to say it... To me it looked kind of pastel looking. I don't know if it was actually pastel or if it's just lighter toned colors. Okay, so we have deep blue. To me it would have been like, instead of this dark green, it would have been a like a mint green and a... Pastel pink. Alright. Shaking the tar out of this. Alright, so now. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. We did eight of this one. Let's see what we got. Look at that pretty blue. I 
I think we're going to try something else too. I think I'm actually going to try using their colored UV resin and adding a little bit of this metallic to it. Seeing what we get there. Okay. And the last color we're going to do is green. Dark green. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Isn't that pretty? I love these metallics, guys. These are neat. So now, I want to do one more, like I said, and I want to try their pigment, their colored UV resin, and add a little bit of the metallic to it. Let's see what we get. Uh, let's do purple. So I have their purple colored UV resin. Okay, so we got it. Okay. And we're going to take the deep purple color and we're going to put it into the purple resin. Oh, that's that makes it really nice. Look at this, guys. That makes it really pretty. Oh yeah, very very pretty. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna bring our little heads over here. So now we have these. Uh, okay, so I think I'm going to do some gold here. color we want to do on that one let's do let's 
this one is pretty purple, and we'll see how it turns out. Okay. Let's do. I'm gonna do another one with some of the purple in it. Let's do. Yeah, we're gonna do Maleficent's face. Okay. Okay, so that that's pretty. Wow, that's a pretty color. Okay, so now we have that. We have blue. Let's take our blue here. I kind of want to add some of the blue colored to it. I think I'm going to. really think that colored UV resins complement this so much. I feel like it complements these colors a lot. Oh yeah, look at that. That's nice. I like that. Okay, so now we're going to pour that into her face. And let's do her. Ah, come on. Okay, and let's do... Okay. Now we're going to take the green. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do it again here.
That's nice. Very pretty green. Okay, so now I'm going to pour this into here. Let's do this piece here. And we're going to do this piece here with this. Okay. Hmm. This one. Yeah. Okay, so that one's pretty. And I poured green into my purple here, so I'm going to pour some more purple back in it. Here we go. Pour some more purple in there. All right, so now the top here is red. This is what I'm going to do her horns. So I'm going to get my. I've got pink. I don't have red. But... Oh, yes, I do. I get red or is it orange? Red, orange. We'll do red, orange. Okay, so now we are going to pour this up in her horns. Move this out of the way. Okay, and we're going to do, do outside of her face in this. Okay, we're going to do here. Okay, that's pretty. And I think we're going to do some more gold in the bottom here. And right here. Okay, now I have this little bit extra of all of them, so we're going to put it in here. And we're just going to see what we end up with. That one.
do the blue. And red. Oops. And then the green. All right, I'm going to put you guys on a pause. I'm going to get my lamp out, and I'm going to cure this. And uh, I will see how long it takes to cure front and back, both sides. And I'll be right back with you. Bye. Okay, we're back. So I did uh, two minutes each side. And it's, it's hard. We're going to see what we have on the back here. Look at there. That's pretty. I did overport here. There we go. Yeah, so I overported there, but wow, that's pretty. I really like that. I love the metallic. Love that metallic ink. I really do. I can't wait to play around with this ink with some... With regular resin, even. I can't wait. I want to try it. That's neat. I like that one. Huh. Okay. Now this one here I didn't finish filling in all the way. So we're going to finish her here in a little bit. I'll do it later. I'm not too worried about her. But we can see the colors clearly. And then this one here. We're going to demold it. And we're going to see what we got. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It looks like Tie dye. Wow, that's pretty. The back's just a little tacky, not bad. I'm gonna give it one more. We'll give it a minute. We'll give it another minute here. But wow, right? Really liking this resin. Really like this metallic pigment. Oh my god, that's pretty. How pretty would that be right there? Huh. Actually, I could do it on this side. Because I have a lip edge. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, let me wipe this off right quick here. Get all my fingerprints off of it here. Okay, perfect. 
Oh yeah, much better. Wow. That is nice. And I didn't torch any bubbles, anything. I just put it in like it was. I do have one little bubble right inside there, I see. See it, a little one? Like I said, that was my fault. I did not... I didn't try to pop any bubbles. I just put it in the way it was. It looks like one teeny tiny one right there, maybe. But yeah, that turned out pretty. Okay, so. Now, we're going to take her. Okay, come on. And I don't want her. I don't want the hanger on it. There we go. Didn't want the necklace hanger on there. Okay. All right, now we got a resin in here. I'll take my little silicone brush here. Okay, perfect. And I'm going to... I'm going to pop the bubbles on this one. I don't see any, but just in case. Because we are putting this here. Alright. Alright. Okay, I'm going to put you on pause while I cure this, and we'll be right back. Okay, we are back. So that cured beautifully, guys. Beautiful. And, uh, I put it in there for just a little over two minutes. So, I did a great job, and it's it's not tacky at all. Not sticky. Alright. So, yeah, I think it's a pretty good resin, guys. From the best I can tell. Uh, like I said, I will post a link to it in the description box below. Um, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with it. I am... Cub, uh, I did color it with some UV nail polish on the back of the one. Because I wanted to see what it would do. Um, it's almost done here. We'll pull it out and see. I want to see what it did to the front with me coloring the back of it. I was going to do black on the back, but I thought, well, black's hard to do on in UV resin because you got to be able to still cure it. So I thought, well, if I do my nail polishes, I have these UV nail polishes, and I have this one here. I have this one. Well, I have several, but I did these, th these three colors on the back of it. And I just kind of want to see how it turned out. It didn't really change the front any. Yeah, I just brushed it on the back. Alright. Well, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, perfect time. Uh, we try out new resin products just to see what they are about. And, like I said, I'm pretty impressed with it. It turned out really good. It's a very nice resin. I'm... Yeah, 
I'm really nice. I'm really, really happy with how this domed and everything. So, I hope y'all have a wonderful evening. I hope your resin cures beautifully. Your craft projects are not amazing. I hope you are all happy, healthy, safe, and blessed. And I will see you all tomorrow night. Bye.